Good morning YouTube, this is Michael and I'm coming to you with the first review video for July 2021. Car Lottery dropped three new tickets. All are the Set for Life series. That's exactly what they're called, the Set for Life. All three games are known by that same name. The differences are the price point the color scheme, and, of course, the top prize available. The denominations for each game are $10, $20, and $50. So, let's get to it. And, here we go. We're going to start with the $10 one. So, $10 set for life, game number 206. And it has a red color scheme. Overall odds are 1 in 3.43. Official payback is 71%. Features auto win, stack of coins, 2 times, 5 times multiplier symbol, and also a life symbol. And what that means is if you get that symbol, you automatically win the top prize, which is marketed as 1000 a week for 20 years. I've broken it down as $52,000 a year for 20 years. That is the annuitized version. You, If you are a top prize winner, you also have the option of claiming a one-time cash value payment of $733,055. So, should you be lucky enough to win the top prize on any of the four life, set for life games, then you can choose to either take the 20 year annuity or the cash one time cash value payment. Okay. Um, second prize is 50,000, then you have 10,000, 5,000, and 1,000. You can see the prize breakdown. Top prize you can expect in a pack is $50 at 1 in 60. There's one in a pack. And so your effective breakdown is this. Effective odds are 1 in 3.53. You should expect roughly 17 winners out of a pack of 60 tickets. The effective payback per pack of $600 is only $290, which gives us an effective payback percentage of 48.3. Um, looking at some of the intermediate prize amounts, uh, one in 207 odds of winning 100 bucks, which is decent, and then one in 1277 odds of winning 500 dollars, which is fair. Um, I should point out there is a second chance draw available for this game. The second chance drawing prize is only 250 thousand dollars. I say only because, of course, you can see the top prize is, you know, a minimum of $733,000. However, that second chance drawing prize of a quarter million is in line with what is normally offered for a $10 game on the Colorado Lottery. Despite all that, I give this game only a score of 4.5 out of 10. Um... There's really two reasons why I do this. One, you know, my view is the payback percentage on the higher denomination tickets, $10 and above, really should definitely be over 50%. Um, and it's not. Okay? The effective payback should be over 50% or more, and it's not. In this case, 48.33. And the other thing that I am marking down for is just there really aren't that many top prize claimer prizes. All told, you have less than 45 top prizes available, claimer prizes, and only two top prizes. So, you know, you can forget about seeing that life symbol because it's just not going to happen. I, there's probably one ticket that has the life symbol and the other top prize will probably
probably be garnered by a number match. So. As far as $10 games go, this one's kind of take it or leave it. So. And of the Set for Life series, I find this one to actually be the worst of the three. Not surprising, considering it's the lowest denomination. Alright, we're going to move on to the $20 one now. So, $20 set for life is game number 207, and it has the purple color scheme. Official odds are 1 in 3.01, which is really good. Official payback is 74.5%. You know how I feel about the official payback. If you've watched any of my review videos before, you definitely know. Okay, auto win five times, ten times, and life symbols. There is a second chance draw. The second chance prize is only half a million dollars. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Okay, top prize on this one is billed as 2000 a week for 20 years. I've written it as 104000 a year for 20 years, which amounts to one point. If I remember correctly, I think it's 1.44 million, something like that. No, hang on, that's not right. No, it's over 2 million, my apologies, it's over 2 million. Oh yeah, it would be 2,080,000, duh. So 2,080,000 would be the total annuitized top prize, or your cash value would be $1,466,109. If there's a knock on this game, to be perfectly honest, it's that the second prize drops all the way to $10,000. Ouch. Eight prizes of $10,000. Twelve $5,000 prizes. Fifty-six $1,000 prizes. Not great, but not horrid either. Um... Then you have 500. 400 is a, what I would call a bonus price level. Not frequently seen on our $20 tickets, although it is seen on a few of them. 200, 100, and then 50, 40, and 20. Um, highest price you can expect in a pack is $100, which I do love that. To me, that is a big selling point. Um, one, only one $50 prize, which... I guess it's to be expected. Two forty-dollar prizes and then five twenty-dollar prizes. So your effective odds become one in three point three four. You should expect roughly nine winners per pack. You might get lucky and get a tenth one, but maybe eleven if you can squeak out an outlier. But and quick definition, an outlier is any prize that you cannot reasonably expect to find in a pack of tickets. So, for example, any on this ticket, anything 200 and above, it would be an outlier. Because there are only 30 tickets in a pack, so you cannot reasonably expect any of the prizes $200 and above to appear in a, in a particular pack. Um, the effective payback, pack payback per pack, which is valued at $600, the effective pack payback is $330, which leads to an effective payback percentage of 55%, which is actually pretty good by Colorado Lottery standards. So, looking at the odds for the, for the intermediate prizes, $200, the Odds are 1 in 354, which isn't that good when you consider that the odds of winning 200 on the $10 version are 1 in 380. So, 1 in 354 on the $20 version is not that good. Uh, odds of winning 500 are 1 in 800. Are 1 in 800. So, again, not great, but not horrid either. I do give this game a 6 out of 10 score, 
But I do want to come back to one thing that kept me from ranking it any higher. And that's the second chance draw prize of a half million dollars. Normally, top prize and second chance drawing prize for a $20 game is a million dollars. And I'm wondering if this is going to start becoming a trend for the Colorado Lottery to only give half a million dollar prizes for their $20 tickets. I hope this is not a trend, but our $20 crossword had a top prize of half a million, and now the second chance draw prize for this $20 set for life is a half a million. Like I said, I hope this isn't going to become a trend, but just a fair warning if you're in Colorado, this could very well be, start becoming a trend. It would surprise me because lotteries across the nation are starting to get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper in the prizes they offer. So, Alright. We'll kick that one aside and let's talk about the $50 set for life. What I find interesting here is this is going to be the first time that the car lottery has two $50 games going at the same time. Um, there's the 50, there's the current $50 game of $3 million Red Riches with a top prize obviously of $3 million. And then you're going to have this $50 set for life. Um, it's game number 208 and it has a I call it blue, some of you might call it turquoise but you'll understand when you see it. Official odds are 1 in 2.57. That's actually extremely good. A little better than the current $50 game that's out. And I do believe, unless I miss my guess, that's like the second best odds in lottery history, in Carl lottery history. So 1 in 2.57 is really good odds. Um, the official payback is listed at 80%. You all know how I feel about that. Auto win, 10 times, 20 times, and life symbols. Second chance draw for this game is just $4 million. That, too, is considerably below the norm. Normally, top prize and second chance prize for a $50 game is $3 million. So, this, too, could be, start, could be an indication of things to come. I hope not. Okay. So, top prizes billed as 5000 a week per year for for 20 years. I have written it as 260000 a year for 20 years, which gives you an annuitized top prize value of $5.2 million. Or you can take the cash prize cash value prize of $3,665,272. Only two top prizes available, and this is kind of really bad odds here. One in 1.8 million. So that's a little bit of a knock in my book. Um, 50000 is the second prize, and that is typical anymore for a $50 game. Um, 50 prizes of 5,000 and 80 prizes of 2,500. So at least they've given you, uh, you know, an okay shot of hitting a claimer. But take a look at the 500. I, I want to call out the $500 prize level. 1 in 84 odds. I think this is the best odds of hitting a $500 prize out there. Granted, you have to spend 50 bucks on the ticket to get this 500, but you're not going to find odds that are much better, not in Colorado anyway. So, that means that the, every one in every 3 packs should have a $500 winner. Then you have 250, 200, 150, 175, and 50. Top prize you can expect in a pack is 150 bucks, one in 25. There's 30 tickets in a pack, so it's a, every once in a while you might find a second 150. 
Um, one in 11 odds of hitting 100 bucks. That's pretty good. So you should find two, if not three, $100 winners in a pack. Uh, $175 winner in a pack at one in 22 odds. And you should find five $50 winners in a pack. Maybe six sometimes. But um, Overall, you should find nine winners, maybe sometimes 10 or 11. In a pack so again your effective odds are one at 3.34 which is a high disconnect but keep in mind you know all these figures are rounded down of course so your true odds are 1.2 almost 3 1.33 and five and a third so you know it's not hard to see where you could get an extra winner or two in a pack. If there's an, one thing I really do want to knock on this game is that the effective pack payback is only six hundred seventy-five dollars, which leads to a four, which leads to a forty-five percent effective payback. I don't like that at all. The Fifty-dollar game, the pay, pack payback should at the very least. The effective pack pay payback should be at the very least 50%, more like about 55 to be honest. So, I don't like that fact. But, the really good odds of winning 100 and the outstanding odds of hitting 500, those are some powerful arguments that sway me to write this, to give this score a give this a positive score of 5.5 out of 10. So, bottom line, if you're going to try the set for Life Series, I wouldn't waste my money on the 10s, unless you only have 10 bucks, and you want to play a game that gives you a chance at a 4 life prize. The $20 is, in my view, the best of the batch, but the 50 is not bad either. Okay, really good overall odds, at one in two point five seven, outstanding odds of five hundred buck prize, really good odds of a hundred dollar prize. So, honestly, I would recommend the twenty and the fifty if you, for our higher limit players. The ten, like I said before, that's a take it or leave it. So, agree or disagree with my findings? Leave a comment. If you enjoyed the content of this video, leave a like and or a comment. Um, we should have another ticket drop later this month, and hopefully it's going to cater to my neighborhood, i.e. the $5 and under ticket set. So, as always, you know when new tickets come out, I will review them for you. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I want to thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Have a good day.